Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, June 2nd. Yes, it's June, we're there. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We start out with a new moon next week. We, these are all hidden on Wednesdays now, so I'm leaving them at the end of the forecast period. So nothing to see, but uh, a moon in the early morning hours getting smaller and smaller. So let's take a look at our drought. Our drought conditions are getting better and better. So just good news, at least for this side of the continental divide. So last week we had drought-free conditions up in the northeast, down here near Pueblo, south of the springs, and then going to this week, a large portion of the southern central area of the state has become drought-free. Not a lot of change over here, but a little bit of the colors got nipped back. More rainfall has fallen this week on the western slopes, and as we'll see, there's some hope that the rain will focus more there over the next seven to 10 days than it has so far. We're doing fine here. We are somewhere about, if I remember from channel seven, five to six inches above normal now. So we have lots of water going for us. Nationally, if you take a look at last week, you can, and going into this week, much of the Great Plains, the drought margins have nipped back a little bit, a little more worsening drought out in the west and in the Intermountain West going forward. So small changes, again, it's not extremely hot in most places except the desert southwest uh, yet. Taking a look at some of this beneficial rain up to 7 a.m. Monday, we had really close to an inch over most of the city, over an inch uh, here down around Boulder, we had inch and a third, a few inch and a half locations. So tons of water, it was really great. Now what we didn't get at the beginning was the batch of thunderstorms on Saturday that we were expecting. They hit north, they hit south of us with the severe weather down around the Palmer Divide, out in the plains, Colorado Springs area and like that. The little cold air again came back in right in advance of the system and stabilized the northern I-25 corridor. But the rainfall has been monstrously significant. So yells here are two inches to four inches and just a huge part of much of the eastern two thirds of the state has received an inch to two or more. So fantastic water. Don't have any severe weather uh, forecasted uh, in Colorado over the next three days, and that's as far out as the Storm Prediction Center goes reliably. Uh, but you can take a look at the normals. So last week, we had highest chances here, Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, normal, that's what you expect. Looking right around Longmont area and I-25, we were sort of the two to three uh, out of the scale of eight. And if we go into the first week of June, you see that the severe region, expected severe weather chances, much higher, broader area on the plains, and they do inch back a little bit further west in Colorado. So chances of especially big significant layers of hail on the ground type thunderstorms are gonna go up in June. That's our big hail month. So we'll keep an eye on it. Let's take a look at the setup though. What do we have? Do we have these hail producing storms? No, we don't right away. Because on Wednesday, we have this giant ridge finally coming in and dominating the west. We have a low way down here. We have the trough that was our stormy weather over the last few days inching out under the plains. And looking at the surface, we have high pressure here, just your typical mountain triggered afternoon thunderstorms. Then going to Friday, the ridge is really expanding. It's just monstrous from uh, west coast all the way out here to the Ohio Mississippi Valley. So we'll be very dry and warming uh, quite quickly coming out of this trough. So our normal high temperatures climb from 77 to 82 now. It's normally gonna be in the 80s. That's what you can expect with 40s now climbing into the 50s at night. And the actual temperatures through this time are just bouncing right around in the middle of this normal envelope. So no extreme heat, no extreme cold. This is normal for this time of year. We have our chance of thunderstorms on Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then our dry spell as the big ridge passes, and then we get into the afternoon thunderstorm chances. We have moisture coming back into the state, as we'll see in just a moment. And every day all the way through next Friday, is just take a look at the sky to the west and see if it starts to darken and be ready to get inside if you're doing things outside. 
So putting this into motion, going from Thursday into Friday, you can see this big ridge start moving to the east and expanding across the nation into the weekend. We do have this interesting little cutoff load off the California coast here. It starts to kind of interact with a trough pulling down in the west. And by Tuesday, Wednesday, it crosses the state. Now, right now, it doesn't look like much in the ensemble, but we do need to see if that turns into something more significant this week. And that could be something that would give us some severe weather. Uh, trough continues to slowly approach as we get to the end of the forecast period. So we'll have something stormy to talk about next week. This is precipitatable water. Greens are above normal amounts of atmospheric moisture. And where it's been out here on the plains and on the eastern side of the Rockies, it's now pretty heavy over on the western slopes and in Utah, northern Arizona for much of this forecast period. So that's why I'm saying we could see a lot more rain and thunderstorm activity out on the western side, which is fantastic because it's exactly what we need. As that trough passes, pulls in some dry air briefly, but then the moisture comes back into the state very quickly after that. This is not as impressive to look at as it is in the winter when you get a good winter storm with the snow going around the low, but you can see the, the storms popping up on the western slopes and up in Utah kind of day after day here before we get into the next week when we start to see the storms uh, make it out onto the plains a little bit more. So yeah, that's good. just good. We can take a little break here, let things dry out a little bit, let the western side of the state get some moisture, and we'll get back to our thunderstorms after that. So over the next five days, it's just a little trick of the model, but we have a completely rain-free tiny spot right over Long Island. So I, that's random. But it is very little rainfall expected on this side of the mountains. We got one inch amounts down here, down into the southwestern part of the state. And over the next 10 days, again, the focus is more on the higher mountains, western slopes than it is on the plains. But that's OK. We can, we can deal with that. So looking out in the next seven days, we leave the 60s and 70s of the beginning of the week, and we get right into the 80s and just stay in the 80s with nighttime temperatures bouncing around in the 50s. And it's not until Saturday that we start to see the thunderstorm chances pick up in the afternoon again. I do have one more thing to cover before we go. We did look at our June outlook put out by the uh, National Oceanics and Atmospheric Administration, and they've updated it. And that might be because last week we talked about the El Nino, La Nina state going into neutral. It's neither uh, going forward for the next few months. And so they had uh, higher than normal chances of above normal temperatures for much of the west, normal down in the south, central part of the nation. Their updated map, which different scale, sorry, but it kind of cuts that heat back out into the further west and further up into the northeast and brings equal chances of normal temperatures over Colorado and some below normal temperatures for the Gulf. It's a, it's a pretty big change. And looking at precipitation, they had us with a good chance of dry weather here, moist down out here in the uh, east and eastern side of the plains. And the updated model now has more moisture for the eastern and southern part of the nation and cuts back that dry chances, kind of moving it out of Colorado, giving southern and southwestern Colorado equal chances of normal precipitation. So that's a, it's optimistic. It's another good uh, trend. So for frequent weather updates and local news, check out longmontleader.com. That's where my weather column is over there. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.